Hey guys, how you doing? It's a Honeydew Carpenter. I'm here on my back concrete porch and we're... Oh, hey buddy. You have your Honeydew Carpenter shirt on? Yes. Awesome. Okay. But I'm here with my foam mate. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a test. Because I've had uh, different issues with the foaming agents and the air creep being stable and maintaining the air in it. So I did a little bit of research on different surfacants and adjuvants and uh, ammonia oxides and all these different chemicals that they put into soaps. And there are some really expensive like Drexel foaming agents out there that are will set you back a pretty penny. I mean like a quart for 23 bucks. But I was just looking at the different characteristics of them and I found that this hand soap worked really well. It made really tight foam cells to begin with. Unfortunately, they don't stay stable for as long as I had hoped. Um, and what I found is, just like you would want in a hand soap, it foams up really good in the beginning, but you want it to rinse away real easy. Um, and after just doing a little bit of studying of different ingredients on different products, I found that a real um, oil control hair shampoo has really simil similar characteristics to these really expensive foaming agents. And so this is a test. I've never used it before. This test is going to be done as scientifically as I possibly can. We have two buckets with the exact same volume. They're going to be in the exact same wind conditions, sunlight conditions, and temperature conditions. We have the exact same amount of water in each of these identical bottles. And I'm going to put the exact same amount of soap and fill them up just perfectly. The first one I'm going to do is the hand soap because there's probably residue of it already in my gun. After I get through doing that, I'm going to purge it through with the garden hose and totally rinse out my foam mate. And then I'm gonna go and do the uh, hair shampoo. This is a... See, it's a little bit thicker. I'm gonna make sure they're both completely dissolved in the water. You see how hard it is to dissolve that hand soap? What? In a minute, honey. That's not necessarily the best so I found in my research, but we'll see. Uh -huh. Look at that. It's this will probably dissolve a lot more quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it did. The first one we're gonna do is the hand soap. It is 1.05. We're gonna just screed off the top both ways. Yep, 1.05.
105 and 113. Okay, so we're talking eight minutes. It took us to purge that and get this one done. been one hour about an hour and five minutes since we did this first one and almost exactly an hour since we did the second with the shampoo versus the hand soap man that hand soap makes awesome foam at the beginning but it breaks down way faster than the shampoo the shampoo I mean in in its chemical hey buddy how's it going and it's chemical Here. Here, you can, you can come over right here. here. You got your Honeydew Carpenter shirt on. Here, let's look at the camera and give him a thumbs up. All right. Good job. But anyways, it, the chemical make makeup of shampoo is really close to some of these commercial foam uh, agents. This stuff is barely holding together. This stuff is tight and Look, you can't even move it. Oh, show a close up on these, babe. How transparent, and it's just about, <laughs> it's totally kind of imploding on itself. This stuff hasn't moved. I mean, look, I'm moving the whole bucket and it's stiff. You see the wind moving it? It's not even hardly moving that, it's so stiff. And this is already starting to pop great big pockets out. That one's dropped in a bunch. Yeah, the That's evidence. That's like two inches or so. Yeah, and then all around the edges, more than two inches, my whole finger length in some spots. Wow. That's very telling. Look at that big crater there. Mm -hmm. And look, look. It's just very fragile and very transparent and not real tight cells. And look at this, it's almost identical to how it was when we did it almost two hours ago. Do you, do you know what I find weird? It, the sun hit it and expanded the air in the bubbles and it rose up. Is that why? That's what happened, yeah. It did that from the sun. It actually rose up and expanded. That is incredible. And look how, look how tight the cells still are. That is, that is amazing for sitting for two hours. That is a, as good as any foam agent you'll ever get right there. Hey, wait, wait, what? hold it back up and I want to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> Babe, I still need you to, uh, to like, subscribe. Oh. Hold that up while you're like, while you're talking about. Like. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you like what we're doing, go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, I have some other uh, videos that are coming out on Air Creek. Uh, this is a very telling test. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about doing the next batch. And I think I have the exact perfect mix for doing these insulated stove pipes. So, I mean, you're, you're holding that and it's been what, two hours? Yeah, yeah. This has been sitting for two hours, this foam. This is incredible. And this stuff will set you back a buck and a half. It's a Schwab shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up to that, right?